everyone welcome to business standards afternoon news update first the headlines a proud in rajya sabha over special status for uttar pradesh digvijay slams modi calls him fascist and anna hazare leads largest india day parade in us now the news in detail the rajya sabha was on monday adjourned till noon following noisy protests by the samajwadi party members demanding special status for uttar pradesh the government informed the house that a committee has been set up to devise criteria for providing special status to states samajwadi party is demanding special status for uttar pradesh as sought by bihar bihar has not been given special status for which a committee has been made to devise a criteria for the same said minister of state for parliamentary affairs rajiv shukla slamming as fascist gujarat chief minister narendra modi's speech for a congress mukt bharat congress leader digvijay singh today reached out to all non bjp parties on the plank of secularism Singh's bid to reach out to all non-BJP, non-communal parties comes at a time when there is a realization in both national parties that the next Lok Sabha election could ultimately be a game of alliances. Addressing a rally in Hyderabad recently, Modi had invoked the legacy of N. T. Rama Rao, urging all non-Congress parties to come together with a parent specific signal to Telugu Desam Party to join the NDA bandwagon. Former NDA ally JDU dumped its 17 years old ally BJP in June this year and there are indications that Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar is soft on Congress and hence the party could be a possible UPA ally. Indian social activist Anna Hazare and Bollywood star Vidya Balan led America's largest India Day parade in Manhattan as Indian New Yorkers waving the country's tricolor flags celebrated India's independence. The 33rd annual India Day parade down Madison Avenue on Sunday featured 40 colorful floats, marching bands and convertibles and thousands of cheering revelers marching to the beats of dhols or the Indian drums. Many parade goers along the orange, white and green lined route wore I am Anna paper hats to signify their support to Anna Hazare, whose anti-corruption crusade has inspired thousands at home and abroad. Hazare will be ringing the opening bell at the Nasdaq Stock Exchange on Monday morning to mark India's Independence Day with many IT companies listed on Nasdaq. That is all in the bulletin for now. Thank you and join us again for the next bulletin due shortly.